Good morning, guys. I had a lovely little night in the cabin with my home girl, and it is time to go shoot some guns. And and Brookie's excited. I'm gonna show you my first impressions today of my brand new gun. You're gonna have to wait to see what it is. go way farther out in the desert to this particular really nice beautiful sand like berm that was just meant for people to shoot at um, but there's a lot of snow and I took the road until the tracks ended and then the snow's pretty deep and like crusty on top so I'm not gonna take any risk getting stuck and I found this spot that will work I'm just gonna be shooting handguns so I'm not gonna be shooting far anyway and it's gonna be my first time shooting this particular one so Really what I'm going for is first impressions, not even the best on target shots. I can definitely do that at a range since it's gonna be pretty cold right now out here. But Brookie and I are excited. We're gonna have a grand old time. All right, my Brook. You love shooting, don't you? So the weather's actually pretty nice. Like, don't get me wrong, it's cold and there's snow on the ground, but when the sun is out like it is right now, the sun just feels great. I actually have my gun on me already. Now this is like a crop hoodie. I wouldn't really conceal it with something like this in public, but you can see that I just have it the under the waistband one. And if I put it in the crease of my back, I mean, it's really easily hidden. And this is where I would carry it as a lefty. And then I could also move it over here. This is probably where I'd carry it more as long as what I was wearing was easy to conceal it. But then you can see it's a lot easier to grab and shoot. And it just fits in there so nicely. It's such a small gun. Let me show it to you since you guys haven't seen it before. Okay, so, and I can get a better concealed carry holster in the future. This is just kind of a cheap one for the time being while I was spending lots of money on the gun. It's a Springfield 911 from Springfield Armory. I've bought Springfields in the past. I actually brought an XDS once and the XDS was still ba too big on my body to conceal. This is perfect. I went in there wanting to buy the Ruger LCP2 and I just shot like crap with it and it's just a good reminder of why you shoot a gun before you buy it. As much as renting a gun sucks sometimes and it's more time consuming, it's the better thing to do because I traded that in and shot a Kimber and the Kimber is the same as this, a 911, just a Kimber model. And I was dead on with the Kimber. I liked the way it fit in my hand better. I liked the way it recoiled better. I literally liked everything more about it. Of course, it's a lot more expensive. I fell in love with the Kimber, the SIG, all these other ones, but when it came down to it, the best one for the money, and for me who needs an ambidextrous safety, because I am a lefty, this, the Springfield took the icing on the cake, so that's why I got this one. But it is cool, it came with four magazines and one extended magazine. It's always nice when they come with extra magazines. I kind of don't expect it anymore. So I just want to give you a little info about my new gun. It is going to be my concealed carry gun. I have been a concealed carry permit holder for five years now. Um, well, it will be five years this April. Um, I'm gonna be 26 in April. You can get it in Utah when you're 21, and I got it as soon as I turned 21 because I'm a proud American and I love my right to conceal carry a gun. And I'm gonna be real honest with you. I actually open carry guns more than I conceal carry them, mostly because um, I'm in the mountains a lot and I open carry them, they're easier to get to, they're bigger guns that I can't conceal. But this is just for my everyday life, you know, going back and forth from school, carrying in malls, public places where, God forbid, you ever need to use a concealed weapon. But that's for the situation that I got this. I'm going to put in some earplugs and put on some eye protection to be safe. Probably put my hair back because it's a little windy. And we're just going to take a couple shots and I'm going to tell you my first impression. Let me show you the goods. And may I just say what a beautiful array of tactical stuff this is. I got plenty of bullets in different rounds back here different calibers. This is a Springfield 911. That's what we're going to be shooting today. Springfield 911 is basically a small mini version of the 1911. So as you can see, similar styles in the grips, similar styles in the slides, 
everything is just great. It's a great quality gun. This is the Ruger SP-101, also a great quality gun, my everyday open carry gun in the mountains because it packs a punch. It shoots 357 Magnum. It's a big heavy gun, shoots amazing, shoots smooth, and I'm very accurate with it. We're going to find out if I'm accurate with this today. And then this that you see in the lower corner, this is cool because it matches my new Springfield, kind of. Um, it's my new Tassie Tiger Knife. You guys have seen me use the one, the wooden handle and the leather case that you can put on your belt. This is a brand new one. It's very cool. Um, I love that it also has a clip on it. Easy to open, easy to close, and it's a really nice sharp knife. Let me show you. So this is my new Tassie Tiger Knife here. Um, there is a special going on for one of the color options for this knife. It's a really good high quality knife, so I highly recommend it. Um, you can get it under $50 on Amazon Prime. It's beautiful. I'll put the link below and you can use Bridget 10 to save even more money. And what's cool about the fact that these are in Amazon is it's an Australian company, so you don't have to worry about shipping it from Australia. Also, since they're on Amazon, if you're a Prime member, you get free shipping. So I put five rounds in. It does hold six, plus you can put one in the chamber, so technically it could hold seven. I'm going to use the flush magazine first, and then we'll shoot it with the extended magazine and see how that feels. And this is its first time being shot. I oiled it up a little bit. It's still probably going to be, well, hopefully not jammy, but you never know with brand new guns. Um, the way it works is you have to pull the hammer back and turn the safety off to shoot. You can keep the hammer pulled back or jack the slide with the safety off and shoot. And uh, yeah, it's really that simple. It's a 380 auto ACP. Let's do this. where the slide locks open when you're out. I actually really like that. Um, just for like emergency purposes, you just know. When you know, you know. Shoots so nice. Um, first one I was like anticipating the recoil, but it was more than I thought. And then after that, I was like, this is so fun. This is such a fun gun to shoot for a little gun. It doesn't explode in your hand. And I'm not even holding it that hard. I'm not taking this too seriously. I'm just giving you my first impressions. I love it. That was so fun. <laughs> Alright, we're going to try the extended mag real quick. I have not shot one of these with an extended mag. So, usually extended mags make them feel even better. Plus, you can hold more rounds. My hands are getting icy. Yeah, I grabbed six, I think, so we're gonna use that. Here we go. Gives you a little bit more oomph on your hand, if you know what I'm talking about. empty. I'm hitting right here in front of me in the snow. It's shooting pretty dang good. Definitely feels a little better with the extended mag. I'm gonna have to uh, conceal carry it that way and see which fits better on my body. It's not a le enough length that I think it'll make a difference. All right guys, last thing we're gonna do is shoot this bad boy. You see me and talk and you see me and hear me talk about it every pretty much every video in the summer because I carry it every day in the mountains. It is a Ruger SP-101 357 revolver. Um, it also shoots 38. I carry it with really good 357 bullets in the summer. Um, it is a double action revolver, which is why I'm actually in the market for a new open carry gun. This one is just so fun to shoot and it's just a cannon. Like I don't mind shooting it at all. It doesn't bother, it doesn't feel like a big recoil or a hand cannon to me even though people give me a hard time for carrying it and I don't really care what they say anyway but the point is when it hits it has so much energy so much power that it just <laughs> destroys everything in its path
we should be empty at that point. I love the skin. Just figured I'd show you guys shooting it for once. I'm gonna do more shooting videos in the future. I'm just keeping this one pretty short and sweet um, and simple because it's pretty cold. My hands are cold. Okay, how cute is this? Brookie, you shooting kitty? You're such a good girl. Come here, baby, say hi to the people. Brookie, say hi. <laughs> all right, folks, I packed everything up, cleaned up all my uh, bullet casings, and now it's time to hit the road. There's a big, mean winter storm warning, a big winter storm coming in. I have to drive home in it, so hopefully I miss it. That's what I'm hoping. I could honestly stay here and shoot all day, but I gotta think about the storm. Um, also, my fingers get way cold shooting. Um, like I said, I should probably wear gloves, but I already just wanna do this again. After shooting them, it was so fun. I'm gonna be real honest with you. I absolutely love the new Springfield. Um, I wouldn't tell you guys that if it wasn't true. <laughs> I'm actually thinking one of the next guns I might get is a Springfield 1911. Then I'd have the 1911 and a 911, the big boy and the little baby boy. <laughs> and I think that would be pretty cool. I think the 1911 would be my new, um, open carry gun for the summer, but I'd probably go back and forth with the revolver a little as well. The reason I'm kind of steering away from the revolver for my open carry is because you only get five shots and it's hard to reload. Whereas with a 1911, I could get a 10 millimeter 45 ACP and have around 10 rounds, nine or 10 rounds, but I could also easily put new magazines in as well. God forbid I need to reload that fast. So good being in my toasty truck. It is so warm in here. I had the heat blast in while I was cleaning everything up. But yeah, that was super fun. Thanks for watching you guys. Let me know if you've been doing any shooting, if you have any questions about these guns, and then I will see you next time on my next YouTube video. Thanks for watching guys, see ya. Couldn't carry a tune in the bucket, but he sang at the top of his lungs. Carry on my wayward son on the hippie radio. Songs about the flower baby. Birds of rock and roll.